Okay, guys, right now I'm going to show you guys how we're going to make a donut. And as you know, we want things to be hollow when they're, you know, of a certain size to avoid things that blow up. So here we have a donut here that was made um, with the same technique that I'm going to show you right now. So I have two slabs cut out, two rectangular pieces. One is going to be um, the inside of the donut or the donut hole. So I'm going to cut this. And as you saw in the other demonstrations, I'm going to smear my seam shut. When we smear the seam shut, it gives it a little bit more strength. So when I pull on it, uh, when I pinch the clay, it's not going to like separate. The seam won't rip open. Like if I slip and score a seam shut, I have to wait for that to get leather hard. So I'm just going to smear that shut and I'll smear the inside. Okay, so that is the donut hole. That will be the middle. And then the outside of the donut, okay, it's a little bit on the big side, so I'm going to, and you could, by the way, use templates to cut, like just a piece of uh, tag board that's uh, measured out to the size that you want it to be. I'm going to, again, overlap the seam, and I'm going to also smear the seam on the inside without pinching too much because I don't want to deflate uh, the wall here. I want the wall to stay consistent. I don't want to pinch that too thin at that area. So when I smear the clay together, I don't want to pinch it and weaken the wall. So for the outside of the donut, we want it to be rounded slightly. You could see that. So I'm going to just, just like I did with the hamburger, the hamburger one video, I'm just bulging this out a little bit, rounding this out, giving it that rounded edge of the donut. And then what I want to do is, just like I did for the top of the hamburger bun, I'm going to do darting. So I'm going to cut. When we cut darts, we're just cutting away little triangular pieces. And this can go anytime you want to taper in the top of something or the bottom of something. You can cut darts and then I'm going to fold them in and smear them. So I'm putting my finger behind it underneath as resistance. If I don't have my finger inside pushing upward, I'm just going to end up denting this and pushing it down. So you could see how easily this clay can be manipulated. We wanna make sure we're using super malleable, really plastic clay. How am I doing on time? You have three minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going to get it done. Okay, so I'm just smearing and overlapping. And I also could put my finger on the inside, by the way, and fluff this out. So if I depress this a little bit, I could fluff this out. This, by the way, could be used for making a donut. It could be used for making a, um, a bagel. Um, you know, anything rounded like this, okay? And... You know what I want? Hold on one second. I just want to get, okay, so we have a little uh, bowl here because I don't want to deflate what I've done so far. So I'm going to nestle this upside down into a bowl form and I can do it to the other side. Okay. I'm just darting all the way around. How many to do? It's really... I would just say, you know, I don't know, five or six. And I'm just smearing these shut. Not perfectly because anything can be healed up even as this clay gets leather hard. So if it doesn't completely reach, it's okay. If we have a crack here or there. Okay, I just want to show you what this looks like. I'm going to carefully dump it out into my hand. And we have here the beginnings of the donut shape. So it's rounded on the edges. It's got the hole through it. So now we want to make the donut hole. And so I'm going to take this piece and put it right in the middle there. I probably could have made it a little taller. In fact, I'm going to make another one because I want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to stretch this piece of clay. 
to be a little taller. Okay, so I'm going to also overlap and smear. Put that in the middle there. Can I fit it? Oh, I'm deflating my donut. There we go. All right, and the reason I made it taller, and by the way, I should have, let's say, ooh. All right. It's been a little sloppy, but that's all right. All right, so now what I can do is I want to trim this down a little bit, but you see I wanted it sticking up a little. And now what I can do is I can smear this. So I just want to show the camera what I'm doing from the top view. I'm smearing this to enclose this form. So this is hollow. Now I'm not squeezing it because if I squeeze it, I would deflate it. So same thing goes here. I need to smear the shut. The great thing about clay is when you completely enclose air inside of a piece of clay, it acts like a balloon. It gives resistance. So once I get this completely sealed up, I can play with the shape without deflating it. And we're not there yet, okay? But that is how we get the general shape of the donut. It's a little lumpy, it has some parts that look sharp, but that can all be smeared down then with a wet paper towel to look more like this smooth piece right here. Okay, happy donut making.